So my name is Dr. Matthew Dunn. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Health and Social Development. I'm broadly a substance use researcher. So my career since my PhD has been researching legal and illegal drugs. The main focus of my research at the moment is performance and image enhancing drugs. So steroids or even caffeine uh, or smart drugs, study drugs, those types of things. So my PhD looked at body image in men and the influence of things like exercise, whether a guy goes to the gym or goes running or plays sport, uh, sexual orientation, whether someone is same sex attracted or opposite sex attracted, and drug use, so illicit drugs or steroids. My first career uh, was as a drug researcher. So I interviewed people who used illicit drugs like ecstasy, cocaine, methamphetamine, uh, but I also researched steroids. So professional, professional athletes or just the guys that go to the gym who want to look a bit better or perform a bit better. So my very first honours student looked at overweight and obese men. But the important part of her honours thesis was looking at men who were older. These were men who were low socioeconomic status. They were living below the poverty line, um, but they were still overweight. And so her thesis was looking at why. And not surprising, if you don't have money, you can't buy fresh, nutritious food. And so her thesis had really important policy findings and implications that we need to lift people out of poverty so they can live a healthier lifestyle. So an honours student, Lisa, who conducted a study looking at substance use issues in the family, but specifically she was looking at siblings and she interviewed siblings who had a brother or a sister that had substance use problems and how that might have caused conflict in the family, but also how the family came together to support that sibling. And she published that, uh, the paper is available, and she won Best Early Career Researcher at a drug and alcohol conference. She's now gone on to do a master's in clinical psychology. I love supervising honor students and seeing them reach the goal that they've got in mind. So some of my students have just wanted to do honors so they can get into a master's degree, which is completely fine. Some want a research career. Some want to do honours so they can get those research skills to then take that into the public sphere, whether that's working for a not-for-profit or for government. So I love seeing students attain what they want to get out of it. If that's a journal article and a conference presentation, that's fantastic. If that's just getting the skills that lifts them above all the other students that have a bachelor's degree, that's perfect as well. I'm a great guy, I'm a great supervisor, <laughs> uh, but I love working with students that either want to do something in my field, which is, as I said, substance use or anything to do with policy. I'm really passionate about influencing the policy process. But I've also worked with students that have come up with their own projects, and I'm more than happy to sit down and work with students to come up with a topic. So my current student uh, from last year, she came to me wanting to do something around drug and alcohol policy, specifically around the supervised injecting room in Richmond. So we sat down over coffee and worked up a project, and she did a media analysis looking at how the media had presented this issue and that's going to have important policy implications when those findings are released.